posted by No Breath 9065. Am I the butthole? For not taking over custody for my brother's daughter. My brother M28 and I F28 grew up in foster care. I don't really want to get into detail with that, but the thing is we basically had only one another. From the time in the foster care I've learned that I'm really not suited for kids, like at all. I know what I'll say may sound harsh, but I hate kids. Seeing kids remember of the time at the foster care significant other I really can't enjoy spending time with them and can't pretend I do. My brother had a baby with a girl after school. They weren't really together and she didn't want the baby, but brother did significant other she kept it and gave it to my brother. Now my brother was very different to me. He loved kids and especially kids in need. He loved to help and I know he was always a better person. We grow apart when we grow up because of how different we were, but we're still in contact though text mostly. My brother and I were born with a congenital heart disease as a main syndrome which if you are not familiar with the disease it basically means that without the right care, our heart slash lungs will just stop working to put it on easy terms. My brother had a heart attack when he was just a few hours old, that's how we found out we were sick basically. Obviously no one wanted to adopt us because we were like little bombs. We have known our whole life that we were probably gonna die young as we couldn't get the surgeries we were meant to. My brother always took care of himself, but sadly he died of a heart attack 15 days ago. His daughter is staying with a friend of my brother, but she had asked me to fill for custody of the child and this is where I might be the butt. I told her I will not significant other that I can't take care of her and I don't want to. She said that I am the only family she is now and I can't let her alone. I think that she should contact her mother, she is this child's family, not me. I don't deserve to be put in this situation. It's best if she goes to her mother. This woman is insisting that I take her with me because it's what my brother wanted. How can I take care of her if I can't even look at her and pretend not to hate her? I despise children, there's nothing I can do and I feel like I am being put in a situation where I either do what they expect from me or I am the bad guy. This woman also told me the child's mother may not want to take her in and she'll end up in foster care which I know is horrible. I don't know what to do here. In case it is necessary to know, we live in Romania. And now to the comments. A comment from Mutual but squeeze in. Not the butthole. People are not responsible for other people's kids and I will die on this hill. Given your feelings about kids in general, you wouldn't be a good fit as her parent anyway. Even if the kid is a little older, that is still a massive time, money, and mental energy commitment for several years. Aggravating P9249 commented. I worry about your life. As you stated, your heart and slash your lungs could stop at any time. It wouldn't be fair to be forced to accept a child and then have that child endure the loss of her guardian. Contacting and involving the mother is the correct thing to do. The people pressuring you are wrong. Not the butthole. Sagafergi commented. Not the butthole. Insignificant other, significant other, sorry your brother passed away. I hope you are looking after yourself right now. You don't want children, significant other. If you took custody of her, neither you nor her would be very happy. That girl needs a lot of love right now and at least you are honest that you cannot provide her with it. I would say try to find her by a mother. I know she didn't want her when she got pregnant, but maybe she would have changed her mind by now. She might not have, but it's worth a shot. I hope this gets sorted out because it's an all-round horrific situation. Oscar Orange Cat likes to add Not the butthole. Not your kid. Simply say. Not possible. Stop asking me. I am not taking her. And then stop talking to this person. Gibson Go 55 likes to add This woman also told me the child's mother may not want to take her in and she'll end up in foster care which I know is horrible. This friend really needs to find out if this is the case with the child's mum since he definitely don't want anything to do with this child's care. At least you're being honest. Not the butthole. To the next post. Posted by Norealeta4925. Am I the butthole? For changing my name? I, if 19, am adopted. My birth parents were really horrible people. My mom was an alcoholic that drank while pregnant with my and my dad was in jail for horrible crimes. I recently started going by another name because my adopted parents didn't change it. I do this because I hate the association to my birth family and what they did to me. 
My adopted parents recently found out that some people call me Monica instead of the name they gave me and they got really mad and told me I wasn't their daughter. I tried explaining to them why I changed it and they just won't understand. I never meant to hurt them, I just don't want to be associated with my birth parents. Am I the butthole? For this? And now to the comments. A comment from Straight Good 8682 No, you're not the butt. In fact, your adoptive parents said that you and their daughter is horrible, and I'm sorry that they said that to you. Give them some time to calm down. When they are over the shock of the whole thing, I hope they understand. You do you, though. Don't let anyone dictate your life. A comment from NF560A Not the butthole. It's your name. You have every right to be called what you like. Familiar statement for 146 likes to add. Not the butthole. You know, I was thinking about this recently. At my work we have trans female customers who have obviously personally chosen a new name for themselves which got me thinking. Our names are significant other important. They really do define us, but with few exceptions we have no control over what we are called. I applaud you for changing your name to something you find suitable for yourself. Holy Gonzo commented. Elitely an adult, significant other to your call. From your comments slash replies you've made significant other far, it sounds like you didn't really communicate the plan very well to your parents. Reading between the lines, my guess is that you didn't really give them a fair chance to understand mostly because you weren't sure how to talk to them about it. People can be hurt when they think they have earned you trust and then find out that you didn't trust them with something important. I don't think it's butthole worthy though. Just keep communicating with them. Not the butthole. To the next post. Posted by Toei Guru Falls. Am I the butthole? For not allowing my friend to invite her BF on a group holiday after he complimented me. I 28 female have a friend, Lucy, also 28. We've been friends for around 5 years and she's been dating her BF Harvey for just over a year. Harvey has given me a bad vibe from day one. I find him abrasive and overbearing. And while I realize everyone's relationship is different, his idea of what is appropriate to say about his relationship in company really rubs me the wrong way. All of our mutual friends have recognized these things about Harvey, but we all tolerate him for Lucy's sake and he has formed friendships with some of our BFS. I organized a group holiday in June and invited our core friend group plus partners. I'm paying for the travel and accommodation for everyone. Last week, a few of us went out for drinks. The conversation turned to exercise and I made a joke about how I forced myself to go to Pellate's significant other that I can maintain my figure for my BF. Harvey then said something to the effect of me being a dream woman and he wished Lucy would make the effort for him and that I should invite her to Pellate's with me. He also made an absolutely vile comment about how flexible I must be. Everyone at our table looked shocked that he would say something like that except Lucy who just looked embarrassed. I told Harvey that that was an extremely rude and creepy thing to say, but he doubled down and said that he hadn't insulted me and that I should stop being significant other uptight. The more I thought about it, the more I felt upset by what Harvey said and the less I felt comfortable with seeing him in future and especially with him coming on the trip. I don't like him, but now I feel like I'll have to hyperconscious of his behavior. It might be a slight overreaction. And maybe you didn't mean anything by it, but now even when I think of him I just feel slimy. My BF said I shouldn't have to have someone staying with me that creeps me out and ultimately I agreed significant other I called Lucy and said I would really prefer if Harvey didn't come on the trip in light of the way he'd behaved when I last saw him. Lucy said I was overreacting to what Harvey said, it was a compliment, and in any case it was just the alcohol talking. She said if he didn't go she wouldn't be able to go either and that I just wanted excuse to exclude him because I'd never liked him and was always judging him. I wasn't budging and once she realized she hung up. She has now gone and told everyone in the group that I won't allow him to come and it split the group pretty evenly. Some of our friends think it's fair that I don't want him there since I am paying for the trip, while others think it's a bit heavy handed since it will mean Lucy can't go on the trip either and if she is not offended by what he said I shouldn't be either. My boyfriend is really not keen on Harvey coming because they don't have the best relationship but says if it's that important that Lucy comes then I should probably just give in. And now to the comments. Monster Ammons commented. 
not the butthole. Never apologize for cutting a creep out of your life. If Lucy wants to go with him, that's her prerogative. That was a compliment, and even Lucy knows it. Bruce. A comment from Bag, beginning for 1,376. Not the butthole. Your money, your choice. Sounds like Lucy is in an abbing relationship. I'm Akbar Abinit when he commented. Not the butthole. My BS said I shouldn't have to have someone staying with me that creeps me out, and ultimately I agreed. Your BF is correct, especially since you are paying. I'd go while Lucy is still with him, but she wants to support him. Letter. A comment from P0 Execution. Not the butthole. You shouldn't have to pay for the vacation of someone you actively don't trust. It might do you some good to have a private, in-person sit-down with Lucy, where you really hash it out with Lucy and you explain what Harvey does that freaks you out significant other much. Because, as far as Lucy is concerned, you're not doing this out of a fear for your own safety or anything like that. You're reneging on a promise all because of a drunken foot-in-mouth situation. Lucy thinks you're being a dick to her boyfriend just because you don't like him, and she might be more understanding if she realises this is continuous, uncomfortable feeling of his repeated actions and character. Lucy does not understand the why. Talking and laying things out for her plainly might change that. Of course it might not. Truth of the matter is when someone is used to protecting someone they care about, they'll have a million different shields in place to defend that person. And this can often lead to anyone who calls out their attitude as being an enemy, trust me. I say this from personal experience. Good luck. To the next post. Posted by Dog Elite Thousand, 540. Am I the butthole for being angry that he turns the fans on him every night and away from me? This is incredibly ignorant, but regardless, it's a newfound rage. I have thyroid disease and due to this, I am roasting hot to a point of having difficulty breathing damn near constantly. The only comfort I have is my fan. We have two garage fans, one for my husband and one for me that are small but throw off really cool air and work exceptionally well. We are not allowed to stick an issy in the window or have our windows open at all until Jean, per our lease agreement $50 fee for every time they see a window open before Jean, as well as different fees for putting an AC in prior to Jean because heat is included in rent. When I go to sleep at night my fan is pointed directly at me. My husband goes to bed much later than me and lately I've been working up at 2 a minus 3 and drenched in sweat and both fans pointed towards my husband, who is cocooned in two blankets he gets cold easily. Significant other basically he has both fans on him for no reason. I am quite admittedly becoming infuriated with waking up this drenched in sweat to a point of feeling like I have angry the entire bed. It's disgusting, I feel filthy and I am uncomfortable and it's for no reason, as I said, because he is wrapped up in two blankets with both fans while I have no blanket on me, no fan and I am drenched. I asked him to stop and originally he tried blaming the cats for knocking it to the fan and making it move, which is possible. They're your typical cats who love being dinks and knocking things over. But this wasn't it and I found it out quickly, as I was fully asleep one night and felt the fan off of me randomly and watched him put the fan to his side of the bed. I told him, sleepily, he had better put my fan back and he did immediately, no question. That was the only night I woke up with the fan still on me. Significant other I moved the fan. The way our room is set up is our dresser is off on my side of the bed and our office set up computers is at the end of the bed. Our room's large. I moved my fan to the dresser and pointed directly on me. I woke up at 3am this morning and found my fan halfway moved down the dresser and kitty corner to hit my husband and not me. I was ucking livid. I absolutely lost it. I told him to get out of the bedroom and go sleep on the couch in pure rage because he is being selfish and making me uncomfortable by putting both fans on him while he is wrapped in two blankets and making me sweat my butt off. He keeps trying to say I'm in butthole and it's not him, it's the cats, I swear, but I truly don't buy this excuse because I physically caught him once already moving my fan off me. Am I the butthole? Dear listener, do you like my voice? Please tell me which speaker you prefer in the comments below. And now to the comments. Jeepers Creeper 74 likes to add. Not the butthole. Tonight, point both fans at you and lock the bedroom door before you go to sleep and before he comes in. In the morning, tell him the cats did it. 
Imathra will come into. Set up a nanny cam, catch him in the act, stop the gaslighting and then tell him if he does not get psychological help, you're getting a divorce. This is really, really not okay. Not the bottle. A comment from his say what? Not the bottle genuinely, his behaviour is very bizarre to me. His unwillingness to own up to a very simple action of his that is clearly upsetting you is a major red flag, in my opinion. As he considered buying himself an extra fan if he needs the air significant other bad even though he gets cold easily. I feel like he has to be moving the fan and denying his actions for a specific underlying reason, but what it is, I can't imagine. Double V8888 commented. Not the butthole. This is hysterical. It's gaslighting 100%. And he's causing you physical discomfort for absolutely no reason. That's Aberin. Your reaction was totally valid, and I do suggest having a serious conversation with him. To the next post. Posted by Comfortable Taste 810. Am I the butthole? For telling my husband's stepmother she does not get to live in a fantasy and does not get to tell us what to name our daughter. My husband and I welcomed our daughter in June of last year. She will be our one and only for several reasons. Mostly, it is not safe for me to be pregnant again. That she is our 10 year lawn for baby significant other, we are happy. We wanted her name to be special, and my husband and I wanted to honor his late mom. She died when he was seven. She developed the nickname the Kala Lady because she sold Kala lily flowers from their garden when my husband was a child to earn extra money. She was sick most of his life and unable to work, but she could do that. Her name was Anna. But Kala was a name that reminded my husband of his mom's strength and he remembered his mom commenting that the name was beautiful. We both agreed, plus it was extremely special and meaningful which we wanted for our only child. Significant other, our daughter was named Kala. A name that I think fits her beautifully. Where this whole post comes in is after my husband's mom died, his dad remarried and his stepmother took over as the primary parent. My husband did not want a second mom and did not bond with his stepmother. She was unable to have children of her own significant other added extra pressure to my husband and had more expectations of their relationship. She hated how he refused to let her be mom. The relationship with both her and his father is very strained today. She would not have known the nickname or where our daughter's name came from, but my husband's father would. After we announced the arrival of our daughter with her name days after she was born because I was recovering slowly at first we got a comment from my husband's father saying the name was an choice. Fast forward to a month ago and they stopped by for a random visit and his stepmother told us it was really terrible that she and our daughter would be reminded that she is not her real grandmother by honouring his late mom and that we should have considered her in this. My husband was struggling with shutting her down and I think wanted to say some things that he maybe second guessed. Significant other I told her she could not live in a fantasy world and pretend his mom did not exist and she is the only mom slash grandma in the family. I also told her she does not to name our daughter. She and my husband's dad accused us of being cruel and shitting all over her in an effort to make everyone know she is not wanted. They told me what I said was uncalled for and still look for an apology. My husband thanked me for what I said though, but I have asked myself if I went too far with what I said to his stepmother. Am I the butthole? And now to the comments. Stonewall Brigadette when T1 likes to add we should have considered her in this. Nope, none of her business at all. Not the butt toll. She and my husband's dad accused us of being cruel and shitting all over her in an effort to make everyone know she is not wanted. That's quite delusional. A comment from Energetic Anomaly. Not the butt toll 100%. They are totally living in a fantasy land. What's up with older generations thinking they are owed something in regards to grandchildren? And honestly, honouring your husband's mom is not the same thing as dishonouring the stepmom. She sounds incredibly selfish. Maybe BC she can't have her own kid psych, but that's such a fucked up thing to say especially months after the baby is born and named like what the F did they expect you to do. They just wanted to cause drama, frankly I tell them to chill out or you and your family will go and see and then see how they feel not being actual grandparents. Hesicone commented. Not the butthole. Even ignoring the ridiculous levels of entitlement displayed by in-laws, you are married to your husband. Absent something extremely wrong with spouses, behaviour such as violence, 
shrugs it as well understood that other spouse will stand with their spouse rather than in-laws. Your husband is clearly exhausted of fighting with his stepmom and dad who clearly cares about stepmom more than his son. You doing some of his fighting was very much a welcome relief for him. I am hurting cats commented. First, Kala is a lovely name and very elegant. Second, while you may not have been terribly tactful with how you phrased it, you are right. Your in-laws have zero input in your naming choices and they'd better get used to it. Not the butch hole, and congratulations on the birth of your lovely daughter. Sweet stabby girl commented. Not the butt hole, I'll never understand a step-parent wanting to replace a parent that has died. There's definitely a healthier way to go about bonding with a stepchild. Someone that truly cares for them would want to help heal and not force themselves in a role that does not belong to them. A comment from it is not a manual, 1984. Not the butt hole. Anyone who challenges the name parents choose to give their child is the butt hole. Anyone who bring up a disagreement with name a year after the birth is double butt. You stated the truth. It may be hard to hear, but truth nevertheless. You have nothing to apologize for. That is all I have for you today. I hope you liked it. If you like this video, please consider liking and sharing. Have a nice day and hopefully I see you soon.